John Ween, attorney and legal instructor for Blue to Gold Law Enforcement Training, coming to you today with another roadside chat. Now, for those of you who are new to our channel, basically what we do here is we take questions from officers across the nation. They submit them to us and we consider those questions and we apply case law to them, come up with answers, and then we make these videos to help you get it right every time. Today's question comes from an officer in Utah, and the question is this. If, after reading a suspect his Miranda rights, he does not acknowledge he understands them, but begins talking, can the officer continue with the interrogation? In effect, basically what we're asking is, is do I need an express statement acknowledging understanding from the suspect? And the answer is no, but let's get into it. Okay, a suspect was found and arrested for an assault. He was read his Miranda warnings and did not respond when asked if he understood and wanted to speak. Can the officer continue asking questions about the case or does not speaking imply he doesn't want to talk? Also, the suspect started talking after a minute. Does this mean he is willing to speak and further interrogation is permissible? So. Basically, obviously, the first one that we're going to be dealing with here is 1966 case Miranda versus Arizona, right? And that is the most well-known case in the United States, probably in the world. And it is what we all know from thousands and thousands of examples on movies and TV shows and cops and live PD and body cam footage now. Um, and the language in Miranda versus Arizona, it says this. It says, prior to any question... Questioning, the person must be warned that he has a right to remain silent, that any statement he does make may be used as evidence against him, and that he has the right to an attorney. And if he cannot afford one, then the attorney will either be retained by him, or if he can't afford it, it'll be appointed. Okay? Those are the rights that are required to be read by Miranda. Um, now, the defendant basically can waive these rights. Yeah. But that waiver, it has to be voluntarily, knowingly, and intelligently. And if you vary significantly from the language of Miranda versus Arizona, the burden is going to be on the officer to show that that waiver was made voluntarily, knowingly, and intelligently. Um, California versus Prysock, that's a 1981 case. That's the case that said substantial compliance with the language of Miranda v. Arizona is, is, is required. All right. So what does is, what is knowingly, voluntarily, and intelligently mean? Well, voluntarily, let's start with that, right? It can't be coerced. You can't beat confessions out of somebody. The, the consensual nature of must be such that the person's free will wasn't overborne. The government's authority wasn't so overbearing that the person lacked free will. They basically didn't have a choice in the matter, all right? And then knowingly means they have to be informed of their rights, and then intelligently means they have to have understood their rights, okay? So when we talk about knowingly, I mean, basically, aren't we at knowingly already? I mean, the, the case has been around for 56 years, like I said, there's been countless examples on TV, on movies. People know their Miranda rights. But the bottom line is, the burden, the onus is going to be on the prosecutor to show that this was voluntarily, knowingly, and intelligently made. And so, help that prosecutor out, read the rights from a department-issued card, verbatim. Okay. Now, to show that the, the rights were waived, the waiver was obtained intelligently, intelligently means that they not only knew their rights but they understood them they understood what it was you were saying and the implications of what's going to happen if they waive them all right so officers are technically not required to to obtain an express waiver an, an express understanding of yes an express acknowledgement of yes i understand my rights um you know a lot of officers do you say do you understand these rights as i've read them to you uh-huh, no, I need a yes or no. Okay? And then you, you get that express acknowledgement of understanding of, of the rights. However, that's not required. Courts can look at it and say, under a totality of the circumstances approach, we can make a determination, did they intelligently 
waive these rights? Did they understand the rights? Um, however, it's going to be a totality of the circumstances analysis. And so if you obtain that express acknowledgement of understanding, then you don't need to have your prosecutor isn't going to need to fight through this, right? And and you know, have, court look at the totality of the circumstances here, right? Look at look at their their criminal history. Look at their familiarity with the legal process. Look how many times they've been you know down this down this road. Um, look at their their command of the English language. Okay, all of those factors are going to go into it, and a court's a prosecutor is not going to need to fight that battle if you obtain that express, knowing, intelligent waiver. All right. Um, the 1986 case, Moran versus Burbine, is the case that held this, is that I don't need to get that express acknowledgement, that express understanding. Um, however, you know, for the ease, right, if you're, you're playing a dangerous game if you don't. So to answer the question, uh, does he, he, he does not acknowledge he understands, but begins talking. Can the officer continue with the interrogation? The answer is yes, but is that the best way to do it? Absolutely not. Get that express acknowledgement, lock in that intelligent waiver, and say, do you understand your rights? Uh-huh, no. Sir, I need a yes or a no. Yes. And then continue with your investigation. I hope this helps, guys. Um, please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to submit them to us. It's bluetogold.com forward slash show. bluetogold.com forward slash show. Submit your questions to us. We'll drum up a roadside chat on it. We'll make a video for you. We'll do what we can to help you make sure you get it right every time. Until next time. I'm John Wien with Blue to Gold. We'll see you soon. Stay safe.